Hello friends. Till the last video on the design of experiment, we had completed the general procedure to conduct design of experiments. Now, from this video, we are going to learn each of the steps in the design of experiment with the help of practical examples. To start with, this video is about to create screening design, definitive as well as placket permanent, with a practical example for easy understanding and better clarity. So, let's begin. Create screening design, definitive and placket permanent. Use create definitive screening design to create a designed experiment to identify the most important factors early in the experimentation process. Definitive screening designs can fit 2 to 48 factors. In this design, we can have categorical factors with only two levels, whereas continuous factors can have three levels in the designs. Usually, we use a definitive screening design when we are starting with six or more factors and want to identify the most critical factors to study in subsequent experiments. Definitive screening is useful when we want to consider both linear and quadratic terms to identify the most critical factors. The Plackett-Berman designs have low resolution, but their usefulness in screening experimentation and robustness testing is widely recognized. When you create a design, Minitab stores the design information in the worksheet, which shows the order in which data should be collected. Once you have collected your data, use analyze screening design to analyze the data. This analyze part we will see in the next video. Example to create screening design, definitive and placket permanent. For example, process engineers design an experiment to study various factors that affect the output power for a new ultrasonic cleaner. The experiment includes seven factors. The engineers create a definitive screening design so that they can determine which factors are most important. Power output needs to be high enough to clean adequately. At the same time, the power output needs to be low enough to clean without damaging the items. To create definitive screening design, please follow the steps in Minitab 18 and 19 as below. 1. Select stat design of experiments screening create screening design 2 under type of design select definitive screening 3 from a number of factors select 7 4 in display available designs there is 17 number of runs for 7 factors 5 click designs in the number of replicates select 1 and click okay 6 in factors add all 7 factors along with their types like numeric or text and their low and high levels used in the experiment like for first factor add its name as train then select its type as numeric add its low level in the experiment as 0.1 and its high level in the experiment as 1 once all the factors are entered with their details click okay 7 in options keep the default selection of randomized runs as it is this is reducing the impact of noise factors in an experiment 8 click results select the summary table and design table 9 click okay in the dialog box to create the screening design if you are using older versions of minitab like 17 16 or lower then there is not a separate option for screening design but there is an option to create placket permanent design which is used for conducting screening experimentation let's see its procedure in older versions of minitab 1 select stat DOE factorial create factorial design 2 under type of design select placket berman design 3 from a number of factors select 7 4 in display available designs we can select any number of runs from 12 20 24 28 36 40 44 and 48 for 7 factors 5 click designs in the number of runs select 12 6 in the number of center points per replicate enter 3 and then click okay 7 in factors add all seven factors along with their types like numeric or text and their low and high levels used in the experiment 8 in options keep the default selection of randomized runs as it is this is reducing the impact of noise factors in an experiment 9 Click results, select the summary table and design table. 10. Click okay in the dialog box to create the screening design. Interpretation of the results. 
as interpretation of both the designs is same, let's understand the interpretation of only one design. The first table gives a summary of the design. For this example, the base design has 17 runs. Because of only one replicate of the design, the total number of runs is also 17. The design table shows the experimental conditions or settings for each of the factors for the design points. For example, in the first run of the experiment, factors A, C, and E are at the high setting. Factors D, F, and G are at a low setting. And factor B is at the middle setting. Please note that Minitab randomizes the design by default Therefore, your run order in the output of this example, will not match with the run order in the output, as shown here. This is all about, to create screening design, definitive as well as Plaquette Berman, with the help of a practical example. We will see the data collection and analyze this screening design, with a practical example in the next video. For references, I have taken some part of this detailed content from Minitab. Now to end, please like this video if you have found it useful, add your valuable comments, and share this video with your friend and colleagues, to improve and refresh their knowledge. If you want to get updates of such videos from our channel, please do not forget to subscribe to it, click on the bell icon, and select to get all notifications. And finally, thank you for watching.